coming right there. All right, hey team, Carl here with Tactical Rifleman. I've got Josh from Textron Systems. We're gonna talk about the new squad automatic weapon for the NGSW contract, next generation squad weapon. That's right. All right, so I got it right. Absolutely, okay. uh, yeah, good to go. Now, um, this thing's awesome. Now, it's lighter than the, the old M249 saw. That's crazy. Absolutely. It is. Uh, tell me a little more about it. Sure, so it fires the same ammunition as our next generation squad weapon rifle, which is a 6.8 case telescope round. The only difference is it's a, we have a belted. Now to note this, while we're up here with the weapon, all of these are inert, these are demo ammo. Demo There's ammo. nothing live up here to hurt us. So, so if you accidentally flag my camera guy, he doesn't have to lose his mind. That's right. right. And it's wrapped in a fully circumferential link. So what that helps us to do when we'll get into it when we talk about loading and unloading is there's no more brass to the grass and you can only go in one way. So it's really, okay. really friendly for night loading, et cetera. So, but to get into this, it's an open bolt weapon, and again, everything that your brain wants to do with the M249 and M240 still exists here. All right? of my muscle memory that's right. is still applies, so we're not having to teach our current war fighters anything new. That's right. Uh, that, that's important, that is. That's, especially right. when you're in a, a country that's currently at war, swapping guns like that's important. Absolutely. Right. We've got our adjustable buttstock here. You know, everybody knows how to use that. It's been around forever. So going forward from there, we've got our pistol grip and our fire control assembly. Now it's open bolt, but it's capable of firing both semi and automatic. Fire. Really, this this saw will do semi auto that's right. also. That's right. Now that's actually a big deal. That it is. is. Yeah. All right. Yep. Cool. This is the old nutsack bag that we used to talk about on the saws. That's right. That replaced the drum so you can compress a little bit on the table. Right. Right. Same thing. Same thing. Same exact thing. Awesome. Indexed on the weapon the same way. What we had to do differently here is our feed tray cover. So like we talked about with the rifle, there's that second program, the fire control program. Yep. Uh, we also have the Picatinny Smart Rail here, and that is not a very small optic at this point. It's not EOTech signature, right? It's going to take up all this rail, and the, what we've seen is the front part of it actually leans over our, our feed tray cover yeah. here. So we can't open it up normally, um, and we don't want to attach it to the feed tray cover because we want to keep it good zero. That thing's made and, for accuracy. That's so. one of the problems with the, the current saw, the M249, is putting optics on the the uh, feed tray cover, it's just not good for accuracy. That's it's right. Really not. So what we've come up with, and I think it's a pretty good, pretty good uh, uh, solution here from our engineering team, is a, a push down and a slide over feed tray cover. Okay. So it doesn't go up, doesn't interfere with your optic at all, and you can do everything you need to do the same way. So what you do is you index here on the skate tape that we've got up here, and we push it over, and we want to index our rounds onto our feed tray cover, and we use a leader link here. So you see how that just feeds right through. You yep. can then grab it with your right hand or your A gunner can grab it or whatever you're doing and just pull it all the way over and then slap it back over the rounds and you're good to go. Would that work even if you didn't push this open? Could you feed it through Absolutely. and pull it? Absolutely, sure. So we pop that over and clear it. So with that shut, it Put it over. Okay. We like that this is like loose, right? We don't want to snag on anything, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yep. So just put it through. Pull it over. Nice. Good to go. So if you didn't have the leader on it, you could just pull this open. And right. then feed it that way, close it. Correct. Oh, no, that's awesome. I, I dig that. I dig that. Yep. All right. And then the only thing different uh, that your brain housing group has to get used to, again, is the, is the clearing rod, which is the same thing on the rifle. All right. So at the end of the day, you know, we're going to remove these inert rounds here. We're going to pull our feed tray cover over. We're going to observe the back of our chamber here, and okay. we're going to pull our clearing rod out. And that previously fired round is going to sit right around. here, and you just, you just brush it out of the gun, kind of like knocking the last couple of links out. That's right. All right. Um, that's super, super easy. All right, um, this ammo is just crazy. Everybody wants to see the inside of this thing as much as I do. So um, what do you say we take it apart? Absolutely. All right, uh, before you do, let's squeeze a commercial in. Welcome back. We were going to go over disassembly, reassembly of the replacement for the M249 saw. That's right. The new and improved. We have a name for this yet? It's our next generation squad weapon automatic rifle. Nice. Uh, That's awesome. One more time. One more time. Next generation squad weapon automatic rifle. That's just awesome. It's, it just flows. It we'll flows. take suggestions for a shorter name. Yeah. I, I like it. You know, they're going to call it a saw. Sure. So I'm good with that. I'm good. All right. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So we're going to clear it. So it's a uh, bolt to the rear right now. We're gonna ride that forward, make sure everything, our springs are decompressed, et cetera, just like you would with a 249. Regular, yep. We're gonna pop our rear pins here. We're gonna slide our operating group out. That is an operating group. Look at the size of that thing. 
Nice. All right, easy enough. But definitely easy to clean. You're that's not right. having to dig down inside yeah. of nothing. That's what we expect for a field level assembly. You can get to everything. You don't need to take it far any further than that. And you're that's it. You're done. Right. That's very anticlimactic. Okay, we got to go deeper. Yeah. What else can we take off? So same thing here. We're gonna take off our fire our trigger assembly. Just like any other uh, open bolt machine gun in our inventory, you're just gonna pull this pin out, and you're gonna pull your fire control system. Off. That is simple right there. And it's got semi-auto, a, a saw that's got semi-auto. That that's is right. badass. That's easy. All right, how much further down can we strip it? Two more steps. All right, to remove our feed tray cover, we're gonna take the top pin, top pin on the rear, top pin on the front, and simply lift it out. All right. Now we've got access to the back of our barrel extension and then full access into our receiver. Next thing we'll do is we'll slide our top cover off and give us access to the barrel and then our chamber. So you can actually see the chamber right here. Let's turn it around, camera. yeah, so our studio audience can see it here. Okay. All right, so next part's taking the, basically the chamber out of the gun. That's right. All right, so it's just pull that pin out, nice and easy. I gotta unlock it. That's right. Dude, it just don't get any easier than that. That's it. All right, so we've got that done what else for taking down the gun for field stripping that's it literally that's it that's right that's crazy all right um put it back together right so reverse the process you want me to do it sure all right let's see if i can do this without screwing it up slide that in and it's kind of uh it's kind of self-explanatory really right. if you think about it that's in right that's right yep absolutely all right uh, next step from there, we we'll put our top cover back on, index it onto its track, slide it home. That's nice and easy. Next one, feed tray. Yep. Slide it under my optic, and that goes seat goes that back in. All right, you got bead on it. That's right. And next is pistol grip just up underneath like a saw. That's exactly just right. Like a saw slides forward. Locks into place, and then the last part is that the Bismarck. That's right. <laughs> it's our operating group, so we no, want to make the, sure the operating, the official name. Going in, you just want to index these wings on the tracks that you'll see in the back of the receiver. You can slide it straight in. Line up our all our teeth. That's got to be in there, and pull the trigger. Everything slides in, and then bottom pin, top pin. That's it. That's insanely easy. Right. All right. Um, this thing weighs nothing, dude. This is airsoft, except it's not. This puppy hits a lot harder than the current rifle, and it is uh, it is a badass, much better performance. Let's take it out and shoot it right after another commercial. <laughs> All right, Josh, so I'm used to M249, I'm used to 240. Um, everything looks the same, except I'm not lifting my feed tray cover. This thing just kind of slides to the side. I got that. Charging handles where it used to be. Gun on safe. You have to have it cocked before you load it? You do not have to have it cocked before you load it. No. No, so okay. if, you have, if you load it, um, if like a helicopter configured, you have a cocked load or something like that, uh, once you pull it to the rear, it's going to index that round over. It's not going to jam into your feet, balls, or anything. Awesome, stuff. awesome, awesome. All right, um, but it, I'm not hurting it by having it no, cocked. No, absolutely right. not. So um, I already pulled that over, but basically I hook my my ammo can. How many rounds does this sack hold? That holds 70 rounds. 70 rounds. All right, cool. Flip it up underneath, piece of cake. What I like is this puppy has got semi-auto. Right. So it makes zeroing the gun a lot easier. It's just badass. Let's make that dot just a little bit brighter. One click. And oh man, it just makes it, you, it just wants to go to full auto. <laughs> it does, it's like it, it just wants to go. All right, we'll do one. All right, one shot.
Remember what I just said about being cool that you can shoot at semi-auto? Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I like shooting at full auto better. I'm not surprised. Sounds complete. We're gonna have to do that a couple more times. <laughs>so this was the next generation squad weapon now this was the automatic rifleman's weapon the replacement for the m249 saw 6.8 the new 6.8 so this is increased capability increased range increased energy hitting on target awesome system again just a prototype but we're looking forward to seeing this thing in the future we want to see what it develops into so if you guys know the deal if you want to uh, leave us questions and comments put them in the comment section below we read all of them we'll see you all next time take care and shoot straight if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe also make sure you follow us on facebook instagram and twitter so you don't miss out on anything